What is going on YouTube? It is a nice, beautiful, sunny day in Texas, and you may notice that this video looks a little bit different. I got the new GoPro Hero 6. Previously, I had like old GoPro. I think it was a Hero 3, something like that. And then I had an Akaso camera that was basically a clone of the GoPro Hero 4 Black. It was the first one that could do 4K, but it couldn't do 4K 60. It could only do 4K 30 frames per second. So if you wanna ever slow anything down, no good. So I got the 6 just because I wanted to be forward compatible and it's the only camera right now that can shoot 4K 60. Not that I even output anything in 4K, but it helps you stabilize um, and, and gives you more options. It's always better to down res rather than to just max everything out. So first stop of the day is on to Best Buy because I got this camera and I want to get a head mount for it. So I have an old head mount that came with that Acaso camera but it's not an exact fit. I mean, it, I can make it work for this GoPro Hero 6, but it's not an exact fit. So I want something that's comfortable and friendly and something that I'll actually want to use. So I'm gonna get a new um, head mount for this. And then after I get that head mount, I'm gonna head out to my lease. So it's about three hours. So it's basically gonna be a really quick trip out there. Three hours, hang out there for a little bit and then head on back to nine. So I'm getting it all set up for hog hunting. I've had a feeder out there for a while and I've got a Spartan camera that sends me pictures. But about six weeks or maybe even two months ago, that Spartan camera ran out of batteries. Those cameras are great, but they eat batteries like crazy. So I haven't had eyes on the place. So I need to go out there at a minimum, replace the camera batteries, but likely top off the feeder with corn and put a new battery in the feeder because I don't even know if it's throwing. It just if I if I haven't seen that it's throwing, I have no idea. So with all this cold weather, I know that's pretty rough on those feeder batteries too. For all I know, it's all shut down. So I'm gonna go top off the camera batteries, top off the feeder, and replace the feeder battery. And I'll be out there at around dark 30. So I figure why not bring out an AR and just sit in the stand for a little bit, see if a pig happens to walk up. So if it hadn't been throwing corn for six weeks. I don't think anything's showing up, but if it has been, there's a good chance that there might be a pig there. And it's always a good idea to have a rifle on you, just in case, right? You never know when you're going to see a coyote or a hog or something like that. But anyway, first step, on to Best Buy. She is my rock and my rolling thunder, I've been the spell, she's most under I, I love that girl. All right, so I made it to the lease, got my ear pro, got my rifle sitting next to me in the truck. First thing to do is to go down and see what the camera and feeder look like, but I always have the rifle with me just in case I see a coyote or a hog or something like in one of these fields. But time to head down there. All right, I'm at my feeder pen. So I've built this little pen around my feeder just because there's cows on this property. So if you don't do something like this, you're just feeding the cows. So first thing to do is just to check what's working and what's not. All right, here's my Spartan camera. Looks like all, all dead batteries as I suspected. Luckily, I brought a whole bunch of batteries because these actually take 12, not 6. So that's for sure what I need to check. Might as well pull the card and look and see what's on here too. So I pulled the card and looked at all the images on the card just because I always like to know, you know, what's happening. What what's coming by the feeder before I start messing with stuff. Interesting thing to note, if you have one of these Spartan cameras, after it quit transmitting, it kept taking pictures for about another two weeks. So it requires more energy, I guess, to transmit than to take pictures. So it quit transmitting, but then it was still taking pictures. So interesting. Uh, most of the deer I saw were kind of the same ones I had been seeing previously. Um, Mid-December, there were a bunch of deer that were kind of new. I don't know. I was mostly seeing the same four deer over and over again, but there were several deer 
it would just kind of show up once or twice on camera including a good nine point and a good eight point but neither one of them were bigger than the deer that i did kill here so it, that's reassuring it makes me feel like i did kill the right one um and i'm not gonna be able to hunt next year unfortunately my lease just goes through the summer then i gotta find a new spot but that means this spring is good for hog hunting there were definitely pigs coming by almost all at night which kind of stinks but that's i mean that's what they do when they're when there's any pressure at all but not really with any regular pattern either and so my thought is right now it's just so dry and so desolate there's no food anywhere so if i just start feeding twice a day if i get that that corn thrower really going i think they'll they'll start being regular just because there's no food anywhere and my little varmint cage looks like it got ripped off so i bet you the raccoons have been robbing me for a good little while and there's a tiny bit of corn in here but it looks like it probably ran down to the point where it's not really throwing anything it's just kind of the last the last couple handfuls in there so i'll need to top that off see if the feeder battery is even working i imagine it is if it used up that much corn actually i'm pleasantly surprised it's showing just under half battery the time is wrong though so it might be throwing at a weird time of day it's off by at least an hour but let's let's hit test this is always scary because you don't want to get pelted in the face by corn So it's running, it's running good, just has nothing to throw. See what I have. I can fix that. That'll work. Red with red, black with black. So I got it filled up about halfway with corn. That should last a month or two. This thing takes a lot of corn, so we don't need to fill it up all the way. I've got it filled up about halfway. Got the new battery dropped in there. I've got the time set. Just need to tie this on, but after I tie this on, I won't be able to get to the timer. So I'm going to test it now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay, here we go. Hope, hopefully it'll throw a bunch of corn this time. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking. <laughs> yeah, that thing really puts it out there. Yeah, these 12 volt feeders are like night and day better than the six volt feeders. I will never go back to a six volt feeder again. Okay, so now that we made a mess and we have corn everywhere, let's go ahead and tie this cage back on.